to this look with this major fucking sleigh so let's go for this under eye butterfly if you see cat hair on my face i'm a new cat mom fur is invisible i'm like i want to scratch my face off cat is literally right under me looking at me like mother mother let me be a menace first we're going to take a white liner dot where we want the placement to be so i'm going to start in the inner corner here underneath my people outside of my brow here sir I guess he wants to be the main star. One second of fame. Say hello. Hello. Okay, bye. Draw the line. It doesn't have to be straight. I want it to be kind of curved. Just continue that line here. Um, and the nose. Place a dot here. Connect that. Okay. Now from here, another dot, another dot. Hugging your cheekbone. Connect to that corner here. Swoop underneath have the outline other side as symmetrical as you can so on the camera to me it looks symmetrical once i play it back i know that it's gonna fuck me up but that's okay happy little fucking mistakes that i will probably regret later and smack myself now take a flat compact brush and your favorite white as hell eyeshadow super pigmented all around that outline tracing that entire bit don't care if it's messy dousing it with that good white stuff oh yeah the good white stuff yeah. blend it out i'm gonna keep it quite close to the line and it kind of just blends out by itself the more that you tap and pat if you want more of that glowing effect you collect at the very tip pack it in up against that guideline the very edge of that lightly blend out and then you can repeat it as much as you like until you get maximum white glow yeah, now using a lining brush, water activated liner, wet that shit, curl that shit, dot, 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 connect those dots, and straight ahead, the corner of your eye, down the middle here, dot, curve here, leave some space, this one is shorter than this one on top, they loop. Taking a Q-tip and cleaning up this area here so we can see where we're going to place these thin lines. What where you want the line? Do a little scoop here, a little line here, and a little whoop. And if it's not as thin as you want it to be, that's okay. Just take a tiny Q-tip, clean it up, draw it back, and then fuck up, and then clean it up again. Try not to go insane. <sighs> Same thing for the bottom. Clean up. Then draw a curved line, and a little whoop, a little whoop, like a leaf, and then one more little whoop. Water, Q-tip again, clean up the middle here. Take a bit of concealer, line the inside here. Because we took away our foundation and the product underneath this design, nothing for the shadow to go over on top to grip on and lay more even, not sink into the pores. So that line is gone, but since we're gonna go over on top of that again, don't worry about it. The Lido's Cold Brew Palette, gorgeous. Take a flat brush, filling in where we just placed that concealer. Tie your brush, same shade, in the inside of that guideline. This one as well. Tracing over those white lines. Next, to give that nice chrome effect. Strip, strip of these because they're insanely pigmented. To minimize any mistakes. Gripping. Gorilla grip. Okay, not that tight, but... Gripping. Placing this thumb on my cheek. And then lining. Be like a sloth. Slow moving, but with purpose. Look how cool. You can move your hand and your fingers to whatever is comfortable for you. Like, look how sick that is. So artistic. Notice in the original that this one is supposed to be more lifted. So there's supposed to be a gap here and this curve. Supposed to start mainly here. That's the thing about trying to replicate a look. You can never fully copy the original. And I, I love that. You kind of see your own little nuances. Also the thing with copying other artists is that you notice their gestures. Really learn to appreciate their style while also learning to add to your own. Final touches, you want to add that now. See that this line lost pigment. We're retouching that, noticing that this right here, this line, is supposed to be more curved. Try to cover some of that chrome with some shadow and try to shape this area to be a little bit more curved. I'm going to cover that white again, so I will have to go over it. And this is optional, but take some of that white dot where you're going to be placing the pearls. And before adding the pearls, I'll be taking a silver glitter. Holy shit, beneath my brow above my brow, the inner corner, angle brush, right up against the lash line. Very, very focused shimmer. Took my nose and on my bridge, adding some glue here. A pearl, slightly larger pearl. Another one. Liquid liner, dramatic wing. 
dramatic lashes, and we're done.